we have 3.12.3 patch notes. Review. Then fourth iteration of high snow. Can't keep track of this anymore. Okay. Earlier this week, we discussed our plans uh, about the improvements to Heist League for the immediate future. The team has been working on a new patch, which contains some of the new, some of the things mentioned in the new post as well as other features. We are planning to deploy the the update updates as early as possible next week, week Monday or Tuesday. Today we prepare a preview with patch notes to give you an idea what to expect. Mm. 3.12 patch patch on console will be released a few days later. Please know that the patch note below may be changed prior to the release of the 3.12.3. Read this as there's some game breaking bug that we don't want to include on in this yet, and we're gonna add it at the end, just before the patch, so people don't get abused. It's happened a few times. It happened a few times. Haste improvements enabled quest lines that lead towards twins and Nasha. Oh, oh, we're actually getting the the bosses now, the final bosses. Huh. Significantly increased the likelihood of obtaining unique contracts from smuggler caches. I've gotten one. I've leveled my my current ED is like ninety seven and ten percent. I level. I had level ninety one and a half ED. Uh, I have almost level ninety seven vortex, and I have one unique, unique uh, contract. Reduce the maximum length of heist in high level areas. This is nice. This is very nice. Reduce the number of heist job doors along the path to the primary objective in heists. Thank you. Move some of the more valuable main path chest rewards to reward room chests. Read this as nerf to the main path chests. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get le probably less of the currency items from them now, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Improve the rewards of generic talisman, metamorph, and harpy room. Ooh, I like this. More annuls, maybe? And harpy orbs? I'll take, yes. Talisman. Drop talismans in level 68 areas now drop with higher tier modifiers on average and with a random anointed notable. How many notables are there again? How many hundreds? It's uh, quite there and cheap to hit uh, actually good talis- like, actually good mods with a good anoint with a good talisman base. But it's nice, it's definitely- I mean the, the higher tier modifiers is gonna make them better, right? Uh, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be quite the RNG, but at least they can be good now, so there's that, right, it, now, now we're like in the, also, they can be like super expensive, if you get like some of the, like, there's like actually some stuff, like some builds where just getting the anoint is really nice, like just getting the anoint is really nice, like some of the anoints are super expensive, I really hope, I really, 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 really hope that the anoints are all random and not weighted at all. Because if they're if they're weighted, you're never gonna see any of the anoints that have gold and oil garments. So I really hope that they're actually truly random, with no weightings at all. Because then you could get some good stuff on them. Then just having the good anointment could help a lot. Early on, especially early in the league. Like imagine playing on a build that wants some aura stuff and then you you get a random something with some decent life and charisma or champion of, of the cause or something like that. I'm so doubting that's the case, but that would be pretty nice. Yeah, it's early next week, like either Monday or Tuesday. Many reward room chests can now drop their respective scarabs. That that's pretty good. That's very good, actually. Damn. Updated the minimap icon used for generic rewards to, be, to more closely reflect a random assortment of possible rewards. 
Hmm, I wonder what that's gonna look like. Significantly increase the amount of experience the haste monster can be killed. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Right now, there's a few. There's a few things that really make me not want. I more, ugh, really want me to not do them. One, no XP. Two, well, the patch is coming next week, so I don't want to spend my heists when they are, you know, not as good as they're gonna be next week. And then the third one is the annoyance of them not completing their goddamn uh, jobs. It's like. I'm supposed to kill the monsters, keep them alive, and they're supposed to open the doors, but they just play goddamn catch with a random mop in a corner. Increase the rogue marker value of haze objectives up to 40%. Oh yeah, that's another. We're gonna get so much more rogue markers. Oh yeah, and redu the, the re reveal costs are gonna be reduced as well. So that's another really big thing. I think I have like 100 and... Actually, we can check how much I have right now. I have revealed one blueprint so far. I have 140k markers right now. But again, I haven't done a lot. Like, I have a, like almost all of the... The entire locker is almost full. Most of those coins are just from mapping. Blueprints now display all reward chests that wings contain rather than just reward chests which can be revealed. That's also very nice. I like this. A room, some blueprints that you must spend. We have like 20k. I mean, you, you just get them from mapping. I'd say 120k plus of my markers are from mapping. Uh, rooms and blueprints that you must spend rogue markers to reveal will no longer include armor, weapons, or jewelry parts. Yo, isn't that insane? Isn't that like super big? Yeah. That, that, that sounds like insane. The additional seconds, the lockdown timer modifier on like when now gives maximum 5 seconds from 10. Crit damage are affected by the chains. No more 3 minutes of uh, lock time timers, boys. <laughs> it's insane how, how much you could scale it. So this is a nerf, obviously. But at the same time, it's like... I think it's a good nerf. It, it was like way, way, way too big. Increased time before lockdown, but if I don't like it, but now it keeps maximum 10% increased. Down from 20. Oh, double, the double nerf. <laughs> the double nerf. Isla, the engineer's Hayesburg now gives 30% increased time before lockdown. Up to 50%. So they nerfed Isla as well. <laughs> Opening a heist chest during the immune lockdown demo will now reduce the remaining time by 3 seconds from- Oh my god! Oh shit! <laughs> okay. That hurts. Oh man. Improve the invisibility of observatoriums and their skill effects. Well, that's that's very nice. Observatoriums in contracts regarding the perception job now only increase your level if their area of exposure hits you. Thank God. Prophecies can no longer trigger when entering a heist area. Description of the rogue market value of heist target can now be seen in contracts. Bloom is now display the area level in their item tool. Well, that's nice. Corpse of many haste monsters can now be created desecrated. Ooh. That's nice. Lockpicking doors now open slightly faster. Cars to lockpick and Tolima Capron to complete their agility job faster. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Gianna, the master of disguise, disguise skill, no longer has a cooldown. This fixes a case where she was unable to discard shells in a quick succession. That's big as well. Rogues now have a short cooldown after using a voice lamp before they can use it again. That's kind of nice. That's I didn't know it has a cooldown there either. Read format. Read format is slightly quicker in laboratory and bruch library. Okay. 
Extra bug which could sometimes result in a few monsters spawning than intended as reinformed in the on. That makes sense. There was like a few areas where it felt like there's like no monsters at all. But yeah, the agility jump faster is this is big. Fix a bug where Tulin Tull would fail to open a high store in Underbelly. Maybe finally fixed. Fix the bug where rogues would sometimes dance in place after play, placing a bomb. No! No! That's a bug you're not supposed to fix! No! I I can't put them to dance anymore. I mean okay, it's it's good. It's good that they're fixing this. I'm gonna miss the dances though. I miss I miss being able to make them dance. What could quad nerf? Oh, the lockdown timer stuff. Fix a bug which prevented the leak interface hotkey from working on haste chest during lockdown if you had tips or knowledge with you. Fix the bug where a high chest could spawn in an alpha container in smugglers and that's nice as well. Fix a visual issue where it appeared as if alert level was not increasing when opening high chests. I remember wondering like like sometimes like my alert level didn't go up at all and then suddenly my my alert like the lockdown just went level oh okay. Fix a bug which allowed players to apply wealth modifiers and incubators to ally between them. I mean, they didn't they didn't do anything. Like the wealth modifiers didn't do anything, but it's good that it just says that you can't apply them. Fix the bug where trinket modifiers which caused high chests to drop additional rewards weren't applied if the chest was opened by an accompanying rock. Oh, huh. that's nice. That's pretty big. That's like literally like a half of them, right? <laughs> We're gonna get so much more items with that. This is like insane for the the Chaos or Regal to exalt, I think. Especially for that. But this is also for double all the, the splinters and shot, shit like that. Fix a bug where some ally equipment could list Adiyah, the Wayfinder and Kurai, that Mr. Strokes that it could be equipped by. Fix the bug where high strokes would retain their quest item dialogue op option after you had already taken the quest item. Fix the bug where Ash Bless Warden's beam skill hit a larger area than intended. Fix bug where contracts and blueprints displayed level requirements. Wait, really? Oh, interesting. General improvements. Hex bug prioritized curse enemies. Wait, it wasn't the, the base functionality? Oh my god. Okay, I can understand why people said it felt so bad to use. Steel shards are maintained between areas. That's kind of nice. Tain Octavius can now be control clicked to bring up vendor window. Ooh, nice. Captain Fairgrave's encounter in the ship clearing will bringing slightly sooner. Thank you. Added the Hidden Blade, Crest of Desire, and the Ghastly Theater to Unique Collection tab. Oh, that's nice. Adjusted the look of Exalted Weapon Effect to closer match the original visuals. Wait. What did it... I... Please no nerf. Don't nerf my Exalted Weapon Effect. Please no! No! No 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 no! It... I mean, I think it, it's probably a slightly too bright right now, but... Monka! I'm scared! I'm actually scared what's gonna happen! I need to screenshot this right now! And then compare it after the patch. <laughs> Fix the bug which could, could cause cremation to sometimes deal no damage. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fix the bug which could prevent the use of perfect after weapon swapping. Fix the bug where Phantasmal Cyclone 
Chance to avoid interruption from stun while using skill quality modifier rolled when you began channeling and use the outcome of that roll until you stop rather than rolling each time something attempts to stun you. Oh. Wow. That would be so shit. Imagine not. To, oh god. Okay. Fix the bug where Void Spear, Seed to the Power, Flame Ball, and Frost Shell supported by Trap Sword could visibly disappear after you threw the triple trap. Okay. Fix the bug causing the moving of the camera when lighting warping to be out of sync with the skill effects. Fix the bug where the unnatural instinct unique potential will not grant implicit modifier stats if they match a stat granted by being socketed into your passive skill tree. Huh. Interesting. Oh, that's a nice buff. Fix the bug where Replica Rumi's Concussion Unique Flask didn't display its buff name while active. Fix an issue where the Crackling Lance has increased branching angle, Eternal Labyrinth Helmet and had a lower value than intended. Now 36%. I mean, nobody's still gonna use it because it deals no damage. Fix the bug introduced in 3.12 where Cortex and Counter no longer spawn minions. Well, nice, we get flasks again. Fix the bug introduced in 3.12 where void pits in Citadel Gundy Guardian encounters weren't removed. Oh, nice, that's good. Fix the bug where opening a map with an all of others mission value had incursion remain no incursion remaining for your temple would consume the mission. Oh shit, I wonder if I consume any missions doing that. Monka Mega. Fix the bug where Wall Temple map displayed an incorrect Atlas region. And was regard to unlock a favorite map slot in Volta's Rest. Wait, so it's supposed to be on Lex Proxima. Interesting. Fix a bug. No, wait, no, wait. Wait, I don't understand. So... You can show, like, when you put four watchstones here, it shows the wall temple here, right? It used to be here. And you unlock them all anyway. Yeah, yeah, but the, the note, the, the bug fix, doesn't make it clear where it's gonna be. Fix the bug for wall temple map displayed an incorrect atlas region. Oh, wait, 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 they're, they're not talking about where it's placed in the atlas, but rather the, when you hover over to the map. Okay, that makes more sense, never mind. Yeah, 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 on the, I, the map item, it said, uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I wonder what happens to the people who have, imagine the people who don't have Wall Temple completed yet, but they already have done like everything else here So that they have the three favorites Will they lose the favorites? I sw I bet that's gonna introduce some weird bugs There there has to be gonna be some weird bug with that like People are gonna be gaining the benefits of the three like the whatever their favorite is, but it's not gonna display it here anymore because of this and then when you complete it then you can get the, the favorites again and instead of three you get six favorites or something like that i would not be surprised at all or it bugs the other way around and it doesn't work at all <laughs> it's, something's gonna happen <laughs> fix the bug where the size of the dragon portal effect was smaller than intended fix an instance crash nice okay so we got some big ass nerfs to the the lockdown timer it's like quadruple nerf do you guys think it's uh, justified? I mean, you could do like two minutes, three minutes durations. Now the duration is gonna be cut in like half. Well, not not entirely in half, but by a lot. And then every time you click on a chest, it's gonna increase by three seconds instead of one. It's definitely justified nurse, but do you guys think that they nerfed it too much? Like, I, I, I didn't, like, go full 
full tardo on uh, scaling the duration. But I do kind of like the the outcome of this, where you don't, you know, clear the entire uh, heist during the lockdown, like timer. So I kind of like that. It makes sense. The talisman buffs are big. Uh, most talismans, just like any other amulet that you ever find, is still gonna be shit, uh, most likely. But at least now there's a chance that you'll get something really good. And especially if the talismans aren't... Uh, like the notables are not weighted and it's actually random, then you could get some good shit early on. Lockdown timer was nice though, because you didn't have to backtrack. Yeah, that kind of makes sense though. And now you have to pre-open everything and then go back and go as fast as possible. I I, I wish they should they should buff the breach rings too to make them higher tier on average. Or something like that. Yeah. Maybe talismans are not entirely alt shards anymore after this. Yeah, it's looking honestly, it's looking good. I like this. I like this. I like this.